When people think about automobile performance, they usually think about the acceleration, torque, and power generated by the vehicle. But all the power generated by the piston is usually useless if the driver cannot handle the vehicle. And that's why automotive engineers have put, in, have put their attention to the suspension of the vehicle to maximize the friction between the tires and the road and to enhance and improve steering stability. And that is why today we are going to be talking about the types of suspension system and every single component in the suspension system and how they work. So let's dive right into the video. A Suspension comes with two basic components, such as the coil spring and the damper. Now, let's find how the component works, starting with the springs that act as a reservoir of energy when vehicles, are, when vehicles pass the road or hit a bumper is compressed is compressed by the spring. The energy released by the spring is expanded subsequently and with the help of the dampers, the energy is converted into heat and the spring absorbs the shock and avoids the trailer of the vehicles from the frame. There are three types of springs such as the leaf spring, coil spring and torsion bar. Leaf spring or laminated spring, they are basically the steel strips that are mounted over one another. They are called semi-elliptical spring as they are bent in the form of as they are bent in that form. However, nowadays they are almost straight and variable rigidity. Items with constant stiffness have the same diameter on both ends. As for the second type of diameter of the spring, and rod vary on different ranges. In the center of both types of spring, a rubber bump stop is installed. This detail is required to both the inflections and prevent spring damage when, the, when it is filled compressively. Next is torsion bars. It is a metal tube with ins is a metal tube with its end inside the work on the principle of twisting. Dampers, commonly known as shock absorbers, protect the chassis from the force caused when a vehicle hits the bump and prevent the spring from continuously bouncing. They are also they also push the wheel back to the road surface. A damper is a piece filled with oil that separates the chassis from the wheel. When the car hits a bump, the pushes the piston into the casing and is slowed by the oil when flows into another chamber as it compresses, knuckle or upright, the next. This is used to connect the wheels to the suspension system. The knuckle arm is positioned at the front wheel of the car. The wheel will be rotated continuously on a spindle shaft that comes, that comes from the knuckle arm. It is also connected to the lower arm using a ball joint. The knuckle is having a caster angle and a kingpin on the front wheel, which helps in steering a vehicle left or right direction. Strut. This is the main component of a suspension system. Strut is basically the combination of spring and dampers, which is having two ends, which would be attached to the frame and the wheel. Spring is used to Spring is used to stroke kinetic energy into potential energy and the damper dissipates the kinetic energy into heat energy. Both these components work together to form a stride assembly. The size of the spring used in the shot depends on the load capacity of the vehicle. The next is anti-sway bars. These are also known as anti-roll bars. Anti-sway bars play a key role in passenger comfort and vehicle stability to improve performance. This acts as, a, as one of the key components of a vehicle suspension system. As their name implies, their purpose is to produce body roll or sway when the operation under condition. There are different types of sus suspension systems being used in automobile vehicles. They are independent suspension system and non or rigid axis suspension system. Independent suspension system is an automobile suspension system that allows each wheel on the same axle to move vertically, to move vertically or independently of the other. In this system, wheels are linked, wheels are wheels are linked movement. In this system, wheels are linked movement on the side, on one side does not affect in this system, wheels are linked together. The movement on one side does not affect the movement of the other wheel on the other side. It is common for it is common for their lift for their left and right side of the suspension to be connected with anti roll bars or other mechanisms. Most modern cars have independent front suspension system. Many vehicles also have an independent rear suspension. It has almost same advantages of the independent front suspension. But the advantage is that it reduces the upsprung weight of the vehicle. In the independent suspension system, there are various types that are available. They are Mark First and Short Suspension. 
double wishbone suspension system, multi-link suspension system, trailing arm suspension system, mark person strut suspension system, and double wishbone suspension system. Non-independent or rigid axle suspension system. In this suspension system, both wheels on same axle are dependent to each other. There is a solid or level axle. It allows both left and right wheel to connect together as a team. If one side of the automobile bends in other direction, then the other wheel, the other will also bend in the same direction. This is called dependence. In non independent, in non-dependent or rigid axle suspension system, there are two types. They are solid axle leaf spring suspension system and solid axle coil spring suspension system. These are these types of suspension system is used in trucks intended for more severe operations and with rear axle with high payload. Air suspension system. In air suspension system, air spring is used instead of a mechanical spring. Air spring has a higher load carrying capacity than mechanical spring. Air spring also has the advantages of variable spring rate than a variable spring rate by adjusting the air pressure which is not possible in the case of mechanical spring. In air spring, two ends are provided. One is mounted on the frame and the other is mounted on the swing arm. Three connecting lines, which are pressure lines, return lines, control lines, are also provided for the operation and hydroelastic suspension system. In this type of suspension system, there is an integrated fluid displacer fitted on each wheel. The front and rear units are connected, making them two pairs. The units are filled with a mixture of alcohol, not the alcohol you drink, of, but another type of chemical made alcohol, water and additives to prevent corrosion. In order to prevent corrosion of all those tubes which contain the alcohol. When wheel on one side of the on, of one side of the car hit a bump on the road, the fluid was displaced. The fluid was is displaced and cause the unit on the other to react. In this way, a bump at the front made the rear of the car rise to a corresponding height and the car always remained level.